Okay, just a disclaimer real quick. I do not believe in Zodiacs. I just find them humorous. And just thought, hey, I could talk about this for... I could read a Wikipedia for an hour. It's not Wikipedia, it's a different website. But uh, I could do that for an hour, so... Uh, yeah. Also, I have a cane. I have several canes. Which way is this way? That way. Okay. Um, yeah. So, helps me emote better, I guess. I don't know. Just like it. Walking around in it like a cripple. Also, I haven't showered in since Wednesday. It's Sunday right now. I haven't showered in, like, what, three, four days? So, my hair is not... Eh, who am I kidding? My hair is always beautiful. Um, but, yeah. Anyway. Um, let's first off announce what... I guess the Zodiac is, but drumroll please, Libra. Also, I don't know why, but I, it showed me the little picture of, like, the star's, like, shape, and I just busted out laughing. Will it show? <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh so hard. It's just so cute. Also... I made this picture for my wallpaper, my five favorite albums in one photo, and I'm too proud of it to not show it off. You can probably see. I'm not going to edit it into the video. I'm showing it on the screen, but uh, you can probably make out what all those are if you know what music is. So if you're a music f uh, aficionado like I am. Anyway, uh, Libras were born from September 23rd to October 22nd. For 2023? Wait a minute, what? It's different? Oh, get the app to check your... I'm not getting the app. I don't know what date it was then. Never mind. The element is air. Not sure what the flip that's supposed to mean. Uh, modality cardinal, cardinal. Also don't know what that's supposed to mean. Uh, ruling planet? Venus. <laughs> Venus. Libra traits. Hates being alone. Here's one thing I've noticed about these things. Is it's good... At just taking parts, of, there's a thing that describes it really well in this, and I'll get to it when it happens, but these signs are really good at just taking different parts of the human state and assigning them to certain people. Like, yeah, ev of course, ev of course that would be a trait for these people, because that's a trait for everyone! Like, yeah, even just a little bit. Like, if even if it's just a little bit of a trait, you'll see it in yourself, you know? Anyway, Libra traits, hates being alone, true, uh, really good aesthetics, I certainly hope so, uh, confli conflict avoidant, mm, kind of, I do over explain things a lot and worry that it'll, uh, like, get confused and a conflict of that will start, sees every side, um, I, I don't know. Uh, that feels weird to say I don't know about, because that's kind of a very necessary trait. But, um, prone to fantasy. I, I do live in my own head a lot. Uh, can't make decisions. Definitely true. But Hates being alone? I feel like most people hate being alone. Like, it's kind of designed to, like shotgun as many, like, the strategy is definitely to, like, shotgun as many people as possible in a set while trying to be faux-specific, because then everyone can relate to it, and then the people who look it up will be like, oh my gosh, oh shoot, they'll be like, oh, it is my son, so of course that's true, you know, like, there's just all these mental things hitting your head, like, of course you'd think that. Famous Libras, the only ones I know on this being... I'm on the same one as Kim Kardashian. I'm not so happy to be a Libra anymore. Uh, Donald Glover? Cool. That's awesome. Gwyneth Paltrow? Eh, Neil deGrasse Tyson? Fun. I do like Interstellar, so... Uh, one of my top five favorite movies. I Actually, top four. I don't know what the top fifth is. I had it at some point, and then I forgot. Where... What's the list, actually? I might as well... Say that while we're here. Five favorite movie, four favorite movies of all time. Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 3. 
I like all three, but I had to pick one. So, Sherlock Holmes, the first one, the RDJ, the Robert Downey Jr. ones, obviously, the first one specifically. It's got that nostalgia power to it. Um, Napoleon Dynamite, because it's the best. And Interstellar. I, had to, I, I just had to pick. Honestly, is Interstellar? Yeah. Because, like, it's a hard pick, because you got to pick. For me, it's a pick between Interstellar and uh, Dunkirk. I do like me some World War One and Two kind of stuff, and I don't know any of the other people on that list. So, best careers. This one made me laugh. I don't know what a hive mind is. So, socialite. That's a what is that? Instagram model. M model. <laughs> what model? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. But now, okay. Now I have to do that as a joke. Now I have to do that as an Instagram joke. Like. <laughs> now I have to oh my gosh I'm gonna put um like the screenshot of this in it and then do some joke photoshop thing or something that'd be hilarious I don't know just some me sitting on a cat like it'll be like the first picture will be the screenshot and then you'll swipe over and just see me like sitting on a couch I don't know it'd be funny something funny um a muse and a mediator are those even careers should I Google it? I've got an hour to kill. I might as well. Um, oh, shoot. That's where... Oh, what have I done? Now i got to find the page again. Uh, was it this one? I, I was on Google. Yep, this is it. Okay, forget it. I won't Google it. About Libra. What is the personality of a Libra? Libras are difficult to really understand because they seem so contradictory. This is the peak example of what I was saying. Like, yes, the being contradictory and indecisive, and like being a hypocrite is just a hu every human ever, except for one. But like every person is contradictory. That's the human state. That's the most vague thing you could ever say. They just word it so you're like, huh, yeah. I don't know why I'm, like, so hooked in on, the, like, tearing it down. It's not like it's... Is it a business? Is someone making money off Zodiac signs? Probably, in some way. I'm, like, I don't know. Who's making money off Zodiac signs? <laughs> Selling, I guess, like, in... Uh, that was a dumb question. I guess everyone, a lot of people would be milking that cow in one way or another. Anyway. And they're simultaneously extroverted and introverted. While I do see that myself, that is, again, everyone. They'll just see, like, both sides of themselves. Like, even if it's a small part in one way and a large part in another, they'll still see both, like, the things they like about being away from people and being close to people, and then just uh, internalize it instantly. So, yeah. Um, uh, strategic and spontaneous. Focused and intuitive. They're just listing opposites here. They're just listing opposites. How can you miss if you're li if you're just listing off three hundred things for people to? You're again. You're just shotgunning like and seeing where the bullets land. You know, you're bound to hit something. Dude, their variability makes it difficult to pin down their true character. Again, wow. I I I should stop saying it. You can. You're smart. You can connect the dots as I read along. They are an entire constellation of personalities. Just, wow. And you're saying all the others aren't? Like, what? <laughs> um, Libras are different. Is my mic going? Yeah. Libras are different depending on who, who they're around. This is because they value empathy and want to be receptive. They can be other people's mirrors while they have strong opinions about other people. It can take a long time for them to understand themselves. Aww. But again, who isn't different around other people? You know? Like, you're not going to be the same... Are you really going to be the exact same person around your wife as you are with the boys, you know? Like, are you really going to be the same exact person? Or like, when you just change personalities depending on which side of your family you're going to the reunion of, you know? Like, sorry to any orphans out there, but... Yeah. <laughs> um, 
Where was I again? Oh, I finished that one. Okay. Libras want, want to be admired not for their talents, but for their charm. They want to be seen as the... Well, yeah, everyone's lazy. I'd love if people just, like, saw me and were like, Oh, man, this... Just, like, wanted to be around me for no other reason but I exist. Like, I'm lazy like that, you know? Like, <laughs> I don't want to work hard and learn a new skill and, like, actually focus in on it. I mean, I'll try to, but I don't want to. If I could just sit and do nothing and everyone could love me all the time, that'd be awesome. Uh, and I'm sure everyone's that way, or most people. They want, to be res they want to be seen as the responsible figure who can balance out the turbulent elements around them. Doesn't everyone want to be seen as a competent human being? Uh... Libras feel an inten intense amount of guilt and shame when they are unhappy because they know that their unhappiness affects everyone around them. Huh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure... Are you calling me an empath? I remember on, like, uh... I never had TikTok, but I watch YouTube and I saw somebody was talking about this, but, like, there's, like, crazy people who call themselves empaths. Like, I can feel what other people are feeling. I connect with people better. Like, so you're not a psychopath, is what you're saying. You're like most other people. You can generally understand the mood around you. Like, I sure have a trouble, had trouble with that when I was younger. But, like, and even sometimes here and then now. But, like, I can still... I'm not a psychopath. Like, I can still sense what... Like, is that really a compliment you're giving yourself? You're like, I'm a normal human being that should not be in a mental facility. Like, is that really a brag? <laughs> what are Libra's weaknesses? Libra, wait. What is the personality of Libra? Okay, what are Libra's weaknesses? Libras are compassionate and empathetic people. They are willing to go out of their way to help others. I want to say it's true, but I can't remember. <laughs> There's the indecisive thing. Like, I can't even remember, like... Anytime I have to think of anything, it's gone. Just gone. Anything. Like, you ask me the simplest question. Someone will ask me, how was your day? <sighs> I don't even remember what happened today, man. So, like... <laughs> when am I supposed to... S where do I begin, you know? Like... Where did I stop reading? Oh, they dislike conflict and avoid confrontations. I fight with my siblings a lot. Does that discount that? These traits lead them to be manipulati manipulated by others. I don't know. I have a pretty big wall. I'm not very trusting. Uh, Libras also, although who knows, I never talk to people, so how would I know? And they never talk to me. Libras also have a tendency to be indecisive. You just said that. They are so concerned about other, other people's feelings that they let other people make decisions for them. Well, that is how I got into a certain class, isn't it? Huh. Throughout this video, you're just going to see me get indoctrinated. <laughs> like, I start the video disclaimer, like, this is all bull crap, don't believe it. And then I go down and end up, uh, like, turning my life upside down after the ending the video, turn it, <laughs> going absolutely bat crap insane. Like, uh, Libras put a lot of weight on the opinions of others, although they are secretly terrified of negative judgment. They have a hard time avoiding the spotlight, and they need to be noticed in order to feel validated. That's everyone! Everyone! Who isn't like that? Who? Who isn't like that? Also, you can tell this is catering to, like, this isn't, like, a month born, like, this is, like, any young person. Any, uh, is millennial too old now? Eh, young millennial to... Uh, older Gen Z, you know, like, they're, that's a pretty wide margin of people to market to. Like, old people aren't Googling their Zodiac sign. It's only, it's just the hippies. All the young, new, hip hippies that are, <laughs> why did I say that? That are Googling this the stuff. So it's like, yeah, of course, you're just defining a young person who, like, goes to school and cares what other people think about them. 
what Libras need to discover is that positivity is its own kind of delusion. <laughs> what? Libras are bound by the limitations of their bodies and their minds. Am I reading that right? Am I high right now? What did I just read? What does that even mean? I mean, I know what it means, but like, how is that anything? Yeah, I'm pretty sure everyone's limited by the ability to think ver uh, uh, by the fact that they have two arms, two legs, um, two eyes, a skin. I'm pretty sure everyone's limited by that. Huh? What? <laughs> they are contained within the boundaries of what their five senses tell them. What? What? <laughs> what? How? How? I'm sorry. Just how? How long have I been recording? 16 minutes. Okay. How? Just why? How is this even an article? This is nothing. I'm reading air right now. <laughs> Get it? Air. Zodiac signs. Anyway, where was I? Uh, they are able to understand the flavor of the world, but not the color. That's bullcrap. That is the most bullcrap made-up statement I've ever read. Ever. That is so stupid. Even stupider than the two I just read before that. What? That's just, they're just making crap up. I don't even know what to think of that. How am I supposed to... How is... What? I ain't a hippie, I guess, I, so I can't understand what this means. Which is weird. Like, I listen to the drug-induced era of the Beatles. I listen to Pink Floyd. I listen to Radiohead. You'd think I'd be able to get this. You'd think I'd be the biggest hippie of all. But yet, here I am. Like, whoa. You'd think I'd be like, whoa, that's deep, man. But no, here I am. They're not able to in interpret the underlying micro-signals that others can. The dark abyss of the unknown is a terrifying place for them. <laughs> that makes it sound like death is scary. Like, yeah, I think death is scary for everyone, dude. Especially if you're an atheist. Um... Like I said, that feels just mean. I mean, I get where they're going with it, but like... Yeah, are you just calling people Libras dumb? Wow. That is below you. What is this, CoStar? Something like that? The website? Um, Where the flip was? Uh, which is why they have to pretend that they know everything. They project an air of omniscience, but in truth, they have no idea what they are talking about. Nope! Definitely don't do that! At least as far as I know. I never noticed myself doing that. I find myself doing the opposite. Talking down about myself all the time. Like, I don't know anything. I can't do anything. Like, this is that. What? I can't do... I don't know anything. Why would... It, don't ask me to do anything. <laughs> um, what are Libras afraid of? The next section is... Libras are afraid of being alone. A fear of being disconnected from the collective is a pair of their primal psychological... Ma Let me read that again. I blanked out. <laughs> uh, you already stated Libras are afraid of being alone. Fear of being disconnected from the collective is a part of their primal psychological makeup. That's a lot of big words to say they like being part of a group. You could have shortened it a bit there. You didn't have to use all these fancy words, bro. Didn't have to make it seem so primal. Libras are afraid of the unknown. You already said that. They're afraid of their own secrets. What? Yeah. Secrets give everyone guilt trips. What are you talking about? They are capable of organizing their lives with such complex structure that they rarely face truly unknown situations. I can see that in my own life. Like, yeah, I, um, when I forgot what I was going to say, crap, um, crap, what was I going to say? I had so many places to go with that, but, um, 
I don't like... Th I overthink things a lot. Yeah, like, I don't like... It's not so much that I avoid not knowing how something is going to be. It's more that I just... Like, I'll do it anyway, but I still overthink it. So I guess it's still wrong. Uh, maybe, I guess it said I'm afraid of it. Not, well, no, it said that we avoid it. Libras avoid it earlier. Is the fan blowing now? Whatever. Uh, or heater. Libras fear that they will live their lives in a constant state of fear. Um, not fear for me. Uh, no. They fear that fear will constantly dictate their behavior, that fear will impede their ability to be happy, that fear will prevent them from achieving their goals. Libras are afraid that this fear will accumulate into an unsurmountable, insurmountable obstacle. Okay. Uh, what? That only really works if you've ever thought that thought before, which I haven't. And now I'm considering it, like, that's true for, like, two things in my life. Like, two very specific things. Like, it's not dictating most of it, you know? It's not. Where was I? Oh, yeah, talking about fear. The only two things I can think about fear really, like, being... I don't even know if it's fear. Does insecurity count as fear? Just giving up, does that count as fear? Probably. Probably falls under the same umbrella. But, like, love life, like, I give up. I just give up. Like, the whole... I probably said... I know I said this in a previous episode, but, like, as long as, like, the tradition is for a man to ask the girl out, I'm gonna die alone, you know? That's just never gonna happen. I'm gonna... It's not gonna happen, bro. Never, 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 never. Why are Libras so angry? I, uh, what? Libra, like, I get pissed at one of my brothers, but I'm never that angry. Libras are afraid of being alone, a fear of being disconnected from the... This is literally copy-pasted the same thing. The same two sentences. What? Literally, the two things, these two sections are literally word for word the exact same. Well, less to read, I guess. Do Libras get bored easily? Libras' problem isn't boredom. Their problem is monotony. They despise any repetitive action. They hate being stuck in the same old patterns that other people seem to get stuck in. They crave variety and adventure. Libras can be immensely resourceful at finding ways to be challenged, amused, and inspired. That last part, not really. Like, it's saying, like, we're, we're creative. Like, I can't... I was gonna ask someone on a date, and then didn't, because I couldn't figure out what to do. Like, there's snow everywhere right now. What the flip am I supposed to do? The one plan I had got snowed on, and then I gave up. So that definitely ain't true, but, like, I get the rest. Like, yeah, I can handle being bored fairly easily, especially now I love music, because, like, my brain is basically just a jukebox at this point. If I'm bored, I'll just, like, lay down and imagine a song, you know? No surpri Just start imagining how to disappear. No surprises by Radiohead or something. I don't know. Uh... I do agree with the repetitive action stuff, but that's everyone. Like... There's probably, like, a few people who are okay with that, but, like, everyone wants to be out of a repetitive situation. If their life could be in a movie all the time, they'd... Everyone... Who doesn't want that? Who, who like, really... Oh. Whoa. Whoa. What have I stumbled upon here? All right, the PG curtain is dropping right now. Libra is... Libra, it, I think it'd be Libras. Libras in sex, love, and romance. Okay. Interesting. The, this is most relevant to Libra, uh, Venus, and Mars, though Libra suns may identify with some traits. What do you mean, Venus and Mars? Is there different kinds of Libra? Is there subsections of Libras? Of zodiac signs, I mean, like, depending on what, what, what? 
I'm going to have to Google that after this. How much further? Uh, eh, not that much. Remind me to do that when I look that up when I get done with this. How to seduce a Libra. Whenever they say something in conversation, respond with, OMG, me too. What? What? I'm. Oh, shoot. I mean, isn't. Who wouldn't that. Si like, doesn't everyone want to find someone with similar tastes as them? Obviously not, like, creepy, exact same to the point where it's creepy. Like, you want some variety, I'm sure, to have someone different in your life. But, like, don't you want... Like, it wouldn't... Who wouldn't that work on? I mean, the swearing's probably unnecessary, but, yeah. Spend three days together without any alone time? What? First off, I could never even pull that off being who I am like how am I supposed to do that so that's useless information actually wait no this is how other people seduce me so I guess apparently so if you're watching I don't know ask them to be your muse what the flip does? I've got some dictionary to look up after this because apparently someone doesn't know what words mean <laughs> Why are Libras so beautiful? Hold up, what? <laughs> how do you know what the fu I mean, thank you for noticing, but also, how the flip do you... I highly doubt every single one... What if one of them's ugly? If I ever see a Libra who's ugly, this is automatically all bullcrap. What? <laughs> I guess taste is subjective, so they'll just... Someone would just sling me with that, but yeah. Um... Libras care about beauty. They know how they feel is directly related to their appearance because of this lit- Wait, what? That's very vain. Are you calling Libras vain now? Wow. Wow, co-star. Um, because of this, Libras dress in ways that highlights not only their best physical features, but also their moods. Who- That's every girl! At least every girl I've ever seen in a movie. Like, who doesn't act like that? Like, who doesn't think, at least, even just normal people subjectively. Sorry, it got a little sexist there. But, like, is, <laughs> why did I say it like that? But, like, who doesn't subconsciously think, like... Oh, okay. Text. Anyway, um, what was I going? Who isn't, like... Oh, you know, I'm feeling a blue today, you know? Like, I'm sure there are some people who really don't care, but I'm sure everyone, like, looks at two shirts and makes a decision between the two, at least. And that's, like, as far as... I don't know, like, I know I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel here, but, like, yeah. Anyway, uh, where's the next thing? Libras are so attracted to... The Wait a minute. Yeah, also, why wouldn't you dress in... The best way that, like, the way that really puts out your best physical features, you know? Like, why wouldn't you dress like that? I don't even know if that's true for me. Like, I have this one fedora. Where did it go? Oh, right, it's in the truck. Anyway, uh, that I wear even though I probably shouldn't because it messes up my hair. My beautiful, luscious locks. Like, it messes up the back. It makes it look all weird. So, so I only look good if I'm wearing it. I guess that is a way. Like, if I look better wearing it than if I didn't mess my hair up while not wearing it, then that was a confusing sentence. But yeah. Anyway, Libras are so attracted to the idea of beauty that they even find beauty in other people's flaws. They believe everyone is capable of being beautiful and that anything that convinces them otherwise is just an illusion. I blanked out. What did I just read? Ah, okay. That's cute. That's cute. I do think there are people who are just ugly, and it'd be good luck getting over that, but there are some people out there, probably. Eh, I don't know. I, be eh, I don't know if I believe that, actually. I'm sure. No, that's right. But again, like, who doesn't think? Eh, psychopaths. <laughs> again, like, catering to everyone who doesn't see themselves selfs as uh, against society and everyone else, you know? Um, who is a Libra's soulmate? 
Wait, there's a button at the bottom. I'll get to that later. Uh, Libras are most identifiable by the contrast between their exteriors and interiors. Their exteriors are sophisticated and composed, while their, their interiors are insecure and constant state of flux. That's, again, well, whilst true, is everyone! Because, uh, brain fart, where was I with that? Um... Yeah, everyone's hi wears a mask. Like, everyone's hiding something in them, you know? Like, something they obviously don't want other people to see, the rest of society. So they, like... I don't know why I said it all joker-like, all, like, incel-ish, like, that, the rest of society. But, like, just other people, like, everyone else. Who? What? Where did I end that? Oh, a Libra soulmate is someone who can bridge this dichotomy. Uh, I see they're catering to the lazy side again. Like, yes, it would be nice to just have someone get me instantly instead of, um, uh, me having to, like, actually work and improve my, and, like, improve my inner self. I've been listening, watching this one guy, his name is, like, Julian... The chant, I... I I should know the name. I, I should know the name, but uh, the YouTube channel is Julian himself. He does these really good TED, like, not TED Talks, but like, self improve not self-improvement, but like, just how to, I don't know how to describe it. Just go look it up. It's good. It's great advice. It's a fantastic thing. You will learn a lot from it if you're anything like me, okay? Um, I mean, I haven't used any of it, but it is helpful. I don't know. It's very... It, it's life-changing for me, but I refuse to apply it, so... A li uh, where was I? Right. A Libra soulmate is someone who is agreeable without being a dormant... A doormat! <laughs> okay. Am I still going? Yeah. 35 minutes. Wow, we got quite a bit of time. Libras need someone who can be there for them in their most disorient disorienting moments. I read that right. Um, their soulmates should be a lighthouse to guide them out of their own fog. That feels like just stereotypes of any relationship. Like, uh, the two people having to help each other because they're stuck together forever. Like, that's basically what they're saying. Of course, they're making it very one-sided in this context, which is kind of creepy because that means, like, I need, that's kind of like saying, like, uh, like, I need a, I don't know where I was going with that, anyway, uh, a Libra soulmate is someone who understands that Libra has a darkness in them, so does everyone, everyone's sad, everyone's sad, okay, shut up, <laughs> but that, and then I continue reading. But that darkness is a natural part of them. Yeah, because life sucks and everyone's always sad. It's not something to be ashamed of. A Libra soulmate is someone who can encourage them to keep being themselves. Someone who helps them see that they're in control of themselves. Hold up. What, I, I, I keep blanking out. For flip sakes, what did I just read? Sometimes I just blast through stuff like, Oh, my brain will subconsciously put it in there somewhere. Okay, yeah, that's just the trait. Being encouraging someone to be themselves is just the trait of any non sociopath. Um, <laughs> see that they're in control of themselves. That's an interesting. There's a button that says your relationship analysis, but like there's a few more things I want to read. Libra in friendship, before I press the button at least. There's not much left, and then I'll press the button and see what happens. But what sign does Libra hate? Libra doesn't hate anyone to their face. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's the most backhanded thing you could say. What? That's hilarious. I, I guess they are. They are calling Libras backhanded. What the heck? I mean... It's tr it's kind of true. Uh, I I don't know because like sometimes uh, it's I'm imagining so obviously I pictured a dozen different scenarios. 
a dozen, dozens of dozens of different scenarios, dozens upon dozens of scenarios, just made up scenarios in my head, and, like, I picture myself being, like, karate kicking some jerk in the head, you know, and then I'd probably just, like, uh, leave the Starbucks before any, but as soon as I saw them walking in, you know, like, I wouldn't, I'd just be gone, be like, hi, please don't hurt me, I don't know. <laughs> What is Libra like as a friend? Libras have a reputation for being flighty. Flighty, not flirty. I, was, I thought it was flirty. I'm like, nope. <laughs> Definitely not true, but yeah. But really, they tend to lack commitment. But Libra isn't as flaky as they may seem. They just have a tough time staying focused on one thing. I mean, I have been going through that for the last few days, but that's just mental, like, how you're doing in the moment kind of stuff. Um... Because of this, Libras are very easy to get along with, but somewhat impossible to maintain a consistent relationship with. The only reason I can't keep a consistent relationship is because uh, no one talks to me. Like, we talk once, and then they never talk back. So... Mm. Uh, where was I? They'll always be there to listen to your problems, but they'll always have somewhere to be. That's not really true. I never have anywhere to be, really. Uh, they'll always want to help you out, but they'll always have someone else they need to help out, too. I don't help anyone. You need friends to help them out. What? What? Libras want to please everyone and will do anything to keep the peace. Compromise. That's definitely not true. If you see my siblings, that's definitely not true. Uh, compromise is a natural reflex of them. Reflex for them. They are also very. That's not true. I'm very controlling. Um, I shouldn't be, but sometimes I see my. I notice myself being extremely over controlling about certain things. Um. They are also very compassionate people and sometimes have a hard time saying no to others. This can make... Mm, depends what it is. It very much depends. Although now that I think of it, I, when was the last time I've said no to someone? Hmm. But yeah, aside from my siblings, that is. Uh, now, where the flip was I? This can make it hard for them to see when others are manipulative or self-serving. Good thing I don't have to worry about that as much. There's like two people I know in the entire in the entire place I live. There's like maybe two people I know who would do that. I'm not gonna say who they are because I'm judging books by their covers right now. So next section rising sign what is that the rising sign is the zodiac sign that was on the eastern horizon and where you were born what that's that's weird you're weird uh um where's that button oh yeah at the end of the the relationships the the love section it says um there's a button that says, Your Relationship Analysis. So let's see. Oh no, it's a quiz. Oh, fun. Oh, fun. I'm going to give my all my uh, information away to Google again for the 17th time. Nine dollars? What? What? Are these reviews by other people? You suck. You flippin' suck. What? Where is the... I'm looking at just random pictures right now. Oh, wow, that's... Abusive what they've got going on here. This is bull. This is bull. Um Wow, pain night reading you in love. What <laughs> were you where you're coming from in a relationship when things go wrong, what you need a mission. View sample reading. 
Yeah. Can I like put a thing? We need a few details in order to generate a personalized reading based on your birth chart. I thought the whole point was like pick a pick a sign. I thought that's what the sign itself was. Isn't that what I just read? Isn't that what I just read? <laughs> what? Isn't that the whole point was googling the sign itself was just whatever this is trying to do? Oh, I guess I got my answer. Who's making money off Zodiacs? Apparently these people are. Assuming I'm reading reviews right now, um, receive an email with information on how to access your reading. Will I, though? Will I? I was born in a city. Why would the city matter? This is the stars. This is the heavens above. And the gods and heavens and planets above deciding my love life right now. What does it matter what town I'm in, right? Where I live, you know? How would that matter even a little bit? Huh? On and at? Like, I was... Like, date and where... What? Hospital? Why? Okay, that's creepy. Why would you need to know the hospital I was born in? The date is the only one that matters here, apparently. According... Like, because signs. So, like... Why would the city and hospital I was born in matter? You trying to trying to get me? You gonna send some a band to my house and get me? Huh? I'm being paranoid. <laughs> anyway. What the, how long has it been? Forty five minutes, man. I can't end it now. Um Dang it, that was it all I had though. What am I... What am I supposed to do now? I read through the whole thing. That was supposed to keep me going. Dang it. Also, this didn't talk about sex at all. It talked about flirting and, like... Like, how to get one's attention. This didn't talk about love or romance. It talked about, like, how to meet someone, like, what they want, and then, like, Nothing else. What? This is a ripoff. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look for another, for another one. Might as well. Um, where is a different one? Mm, this one looks promising and kind of creepy. Um. Let's listen to this article. No way. Paper is the seventh sign of the zodiac. Uh, is represented by the scales of justice. A okay, we're getting some new info on this one finally. A c more about the sign itself. A cardinal air sign. Mm, I already read that. Or two light in Vedic astrology is often associated with justice, balance, beauty, and harmony. Cool. Here we'll dive into personality traits of Libra and explore how this sign approaches life, life, love, career, and more. Libra personality traits balance. Oh yeah, let's see if this says anything new, like, uh, contradictory to the other one. I guess it was already contradictor contradicting itself. So, balanced, compassionate, diplomatic, detail oriented, harmonious, and moral. What do you mean by moral? Morality is dictated by religion. Stars have nothing to do with that. That purely has to do if you were ra raised in a god-fearing in a like in a god-fearing religion or not cuz every moral thing we have, everything that we see as bad is because of religion. We wouldn't think murder was bad without religion. Or like just like, if we didn't have religion, we'd all now just be, like, buck naked, all doing whatever we want out in the streets with no houses. Like, well, maybe houses, I don't know. But, like, I don't get what they mean by moral. Um, uh, Diplomat's a new one, but I get where they're going with it. Uh, well, now I'm bored. Uh, let's start to unpack the sign. 
blah, 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 control. Oh, through its ruling planet V. Okay, sorry, let me restart. Let's start to unpack the sign of Libra through its ruling planet Venus, which controls love, harmony, and art. Ooh, they're getting an art? In Libra, Venus energy manifests as a desire to merge, compromise, and create balance. Okay, uh, my brain was going somewhere else when they said merge. I don't know why. Uh, after Virgos, or it's through the harvest, Libra enters to weigh what's been gathered and figure out how to distribute it fairly and equitably. That's cool. That's neat. Libras are interested in finding balance everywhere in spheres of social justice, friendship, partnerships, etc. As such, they're often stereotyped as being indecisive. There it is. But they're just weighing all the options. The scales of justice are me meticulous, after all. I get where they're going with that, but, like, that's everyone. Like, you make a decision. That's how just making a decision works, so. Libras are opposite sign. Aries, okay, is known for boldness. Libra, on the other hand, prefers to keep the peace, so you may have heard that Libras are non-confrontational. Okay, like the other air signs, Aquarius and Gemini, Libra is interested in ideas and ideals, in finding social order and pointing out injustices and iniquity, iniquities along the way. This makes Libras essential players in our current cultural movement. Hold up, what? They're the ones asking what is justice, what is fair, who is being left out. Who are you talking for? Who are you speaking for? Famously design savvy and aesthetically attuned, Libras also place a lot of importance on maintaining a beautiful environment. Eh, like, kinda? But that's, everyone, everyone wants things to be nice. Like, no one wants to live in a dump, you know? Like, I know I live in a dump, but I try and keep it up, you know? Like, I try and keep it nice and clean in here, sometimes. Learn more about what 2023 has in store for Libra. What do you mean, it new in store? These are the stars! You already know everything! There's nothing new to learn about it, about it, like... They get, the, according to you, the stars tell you the answer, and then you, you, you say it, and then you say it, you learn it, and then if you're stupid, you'll let it dictate everything you do in your life. Um, sorry if stupid was a harsh word. Um, Libra challenges and opportunities for growth. Libras weigh the pros and cons of everything. On one hand, this can be wonderful. On the other hand, it can be quite tiring and leave Libras with decision fatigue. I do overthink things, so I don't know if that plays anything in this. This is a sign that would do well to remember everyone makes mistakes and they don't have to be the end of the world. Breathe. Trust your gut and move forward with confidence. Additionally, Libras can be f so focused on helping others keep the peace that they don't always stand up for themselves. It's important for them to vocalize. That just sounds like like a fan, a crazy fan for like a celebrity celebrity fan, you know? Like <laughs> it kind of just sounds like that, especially like the ones who like d donate all their money away to like Twitch streamers, you know? Like that's kind of what I'm picturing with that. <laughs> Um, it's important for them to vocalize when their feelings are hurt. My feelings are never hurt. I'm a wall. I don't I don't have feelings. Um, instead of sweeping everything under the rug... Wow. Well, I guess I was proven wrong. No, I'm joking. I'm always right. It's okay to rock the boat in your personal life sometimes, Libra. I don't want it! Well, not in a bad way. Um... Libras are interested in finding balance everywhere, within all aspects of their lives. They're often stereotyped as being indecisive, but they're just... Did, did I just read this? You suck! Libras in love and sex. Here we are, the fun part. The part everyone... The, the only reason people look up this crap. Unlike their opposite sign, Airy, which I guess... Wait a minute. I guess if that's true, then why am I... Why was I so surprised when I came upon the section earlier? Listen, that's not why I... Wow, I caught myself in a hole here. Anyway, unlike... 
the opposite their opposite sign Aries the typical Libra is more passive or uncertain when it comes to relationships any suitors might find that they have to make the first move when courting a Libra why am I not holding my cane I'm standing weird because I'm not holding it um wait hold up Although, isn't that everyone, though? Like, everyone feels like they have to make the first move. Because you don't know if they're into you or not. So, yeah. Like, everyone feels like... who Most, probably, most relationships, especially in, like, high school, which is definitely one of the target demographics, would be, like, the situation where it's like, I don't know if they like me or not. So, I have to ask them. You know? Like, of course. Um... Although now I'm picturing, who is this? Because, like, as a dude, this all makes you sound like an absolute pansy. But if it's a girl, then this is... That sounded sexist. I'm sorry. That You get where I'm going with it. I don't know where I was going with it. Never mind. Forget why I said anything. They're Venus Rua. You know, I'll just stop the video right now. No one wants to see it. No. I have to be a big boy. Live up to the mistakes in my mouth. Their Venus rulership means that Libras are also known to enjoy the finer things in life. As most non-psychopaths, I imagine. Uh, they like to be pampered, tended to, and treated to the best restaurants in town. Okay, you're saying they're vain and they're pansies, okay? Just any Libra in general. That is, that is just mean, okay? <laughs> just mean. Um, while the typical Libra is not into drama, they do love to watch the human drama play out from afar! Ooh, no one like that's everyone that's why everyone watches tv like that's why we watch tv shows to watch the drama but we're not a part of it we're not the ones getting cheated on in the soap opera by our with our half brother in the soap opera who we didn't know was our half brother i don't know i'm making crap up um <laughs> uh uh, like, that's absolutely true for me. I love the juicy gossips. Listening to other people talk about the juicy gossips. I would never be the one to toss it out, because then I'd be yelled at by someone eventually. Uh, <laughs> avoiding conflict. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I didn't say... Like, it may be like, yeah, you're agreeing with it, yet you say it's all bullcrap. Like, yeah, I'm saying how it's designed for everyone to agree with, so... Uh, where was I? They'll enjoy dates at theaters, art galleries, and anywhere that allows them to people watch and absorb some art and culture at the same time. Yeah, yeah I can see that, definitely. I mean, I'm, I mean, the thing holding me back is really um, uh, I'm not willing to spend money uh, on a date. <laughs> like, most of the problem with coming up with a date for me is, like, I don't want to, uh, what's free, you know? What am I? What am I supposed to do, you know? Above all, Libras know that love is larger than just two people. What? It's about ethics. Where the flip did it go? Some, an ad appeared and moved everything. Ethics, fairness, and remaining true to oneself. They crave a dynamic partnership where politics, vision, art, culture, and justice can all take center stage. Again, just being a balanced human being with balanced priorities and finding someone who matches you, right? And, like, reflects the things about you well? I don't know. Like, wow. It's very vague. One of those vague ones. Libras are more passive and uncertain when it comes to relationships, but they enjoy the finer things in life. That's not true. I've obsessed about many, many a women. Like, it's both at the same time. Like, there's backup options, and then there's the one that you hyper-fixate on. Of course, that doesn't mean anything for me, because I'll die alone, but... Uh, where the flip was I? Why did it move everything? What the heck? What the heck? What is wrong with me? Oh, here's where it was, okay. Nope. Whoa. I'm, like, way lost now. Holy crap. Oh, did it just let me read that? Whoa. I am, like, dead right now. 
Oh, no, I just read the same thing twice. Yeah, they did the copy-paste sentence thing again. Except this time it's like highlighting something. Oh, summary. That's what it is. Okay. I'm an idiot. Libra in friendship. Your Libra friend is likely a conversational whiz who can hold court in all kinds of social situations. Not true. Like all air signs, Libra is a socially curious and always interested in the way humans interact and think. Yes, but I'm not good at it at all. How dare you assume that I am? Um... And the typical Libra likes to keep an eye on what's fair and does their best to remain impartial. Yeah, I have my opinions. Hearing all sides of arguments, not jumping to conclusions. I definitely jump to conclusions all the time. You're wrong about that. Ha 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 ha. I win. Or, <laughs> that was childish of me. Um, or reacting out of anger. They know all arguments have several si Oh wait, what? Not jumping to conclusions or reacting out of anger. Uh, yeah, definitely not true. They know all arguments have several sides, and they're curious to hear them. Nope! Never done that. <laughs> this sign, well, I've done that, like, less times than I'm willing to admit. This, not true, I'm willing to admit anything, but too late. Too, more, less times than I'm willing to count. Uh, this sign is also famously flexible and happy to let their partner or friends make the decisions about where to go and what to do. Okay, yeah, definitely true. I don't want to make, again, the I don't want to make decisions kind of thing, but, um, the indecisive. But at first it said that, I, when it, that the first sentence is just, this sign is flexible, so, like, it can be applied, I thought it was just saying, it can be applied to anything, and we're actually bullcrapping you <laughs> right now. That would have been funny. <laughs> just halfway there, it just says that related Aquarius and Libra compatibility. Love, friendship, plus more. Ooh! I'm not going to press that, but that's cool. Libra in career and money. As a Venus ruled, ruled balance oriented sign. It, wow, I suck at reading. It should come as no surprise that typical Libran careers involve mediation, fighting for what they believe in, and the arts. I do love music. Popular jobs for the sign include anything in the law, design, or HR realms. Never mind. <laughs> Whatever profession Libras find themselves in, they'll often take on the role of mediator. This means when anyone at the office needs to settle a dispute or figure out what's fair, Libras usually come to the rescue. Not true. I sit in the shadows and watch everyone else suffer. They possess the superpower of being able to see things from multiple sides, and unfortunately, this can lead to a heavy dose of indecision and anxiousness. Libras like to be liked and will find it hard to brush it off if someone takes issue with decision, a decision they've made around the office. Good thing I'll never work an office job, and if I do, I'll put a bullet in my brain. Um, Libras are also famously charming, both in and out of the office, thanks to their Venus rulership and that soci sociable air sign energy. Uh, where was I? Client acquisitions, whining and dining, and customer service are all in Libra's wheelhouse. I scraped the cane against the carpet and made one of those like weird scrapey noises that makes your teeth grind. It didn't make my teeth grind, it made my brain die. So, ow. Anyway, summary, I'm not real reading that again. Uh... Libra compatibility signs. There are no absolutes when it comes to astrology compatibility. Okay, so they're admitting it's bullcrap, finally. But Libras typically gravitate toward folks who can help them fight for what's right. Again, most people who aren't psychopaths, so so yes, that's the right word. Uh, here are their most compatible and incompatible signs in friendship and love. Finally, one that's not find that one that gets straight to the point. Generally, the most compatible signs for Libra friendships and romantic relationships are fellow air signs, Gemini, Aquarius, and other Libras. So we're pretentious egomaniacs, basically. Thanks. As they speak the same uh, airy language, though they may be Though there may be obstacles along the way, Libra can match well with opposing sign. With Libra can match well with opposing sign Aries, and these two stand to learn a lot from each other. 
I don't like that. I'd rather match with someone who matches me more than opposes me completely. Because someone who opposes me completely would be terrifying. Like, it's scary, okay? <laughs> Although I guess that's exactly what... I, I, that reminds me, there's this one Julian video I saw. I, I made a playlist on my... It's a private playlist you can't go watch. Maybe I should publicize it. I don't know. I don't give a damn. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, in the video, there's this section where he mentions that... I actually went to some... Found myself in some class that also mentioned this right after I had seen the video, like, a day before, so I thought it was funny, but this idea that whoever you are, wherever you lie on a feminine to masculine scale, you're likely to attract someone who is perfectly on the other side of that opposite side of the scale as you. So, and it's like a slider, so no one's in the dead center, but if you're close to the center, then you're going to attract people who are also close to the center, just on the other end of it, you know? If you're far one side, you're going to attract people who are far the other. So, I sure hope I'm somewhere in the middle. I better flip than me. Um, ow, I need to pick my phone up. Uh, psh, 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 psh. Water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces tend to be a little too emotional for the typical Libra's tastes, while Earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn might perceive social, sociable Libras as flighty or fickle. I can agree with that, but like the watery signs thing, like, I'd love to date someone who's emotional. Ow, I just kicked my foot with the cane. Ow, I just like, stand in it like, ow! Oh! <laughs> so that hurt. Um, the takeaway. Libra is the rational judge of the Zodiac. We can learn how to be our most balanced, justice-seeking selves through this ethical energy. Okay. Uh, was that it? That was the closing? I should have read it. Did it say something about, like, in closing? Science. The takeaway, yeah. Yeah, that was it. Um, dang. How long have I been recording now? An hour and five minutes! Alright! Well, I guess I'll close this off. I feel like there's more I should say, but at the same time, like, I'm just gonna be going down those rabbit holes forever, you know? Not really, but like... <sighs> well... Where's the cane? That side. Okay. Looking at the camera, it's like going the opposite. It's, the, it's inverted from where I'm seeing, so... Ow. Anyway... Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode!